to the Ella and Luna channel. On today's video, I'm going to be doing a display of all of my enamel pins. I keep them in this container here to organize them and we're going to take the backs off of all of them and I'll give you a close up of each pin and all of the artists will be tagged in the description. And then after we've had a look at my pin collection, I will be going ahead and putting them on this cork board that I got from Amazon. Again, I'll link it in the description, but this is a nicely framed cork board. I was thinking about spray painting this a fun color like pink or purple. I think for now I'll keep it this color, but I might spray paint it later. But we'll see how many of my pins we can get on that display. I'm really excited to be organizing them and showing you all of my collections. Currently right now I have them organized into my blind box pins. These are from Finding Unicorn and Pop Mart. And then all of these are from the same artist that I really love who makes pins called Alum and Ink. And these are from various local artists and other artists that I've picked up. And then these ones in the corner are just my Junko Mizuno pins who is an artist I love. And then these ones are just a bunch of random pins I've collected. I think most of them are artist pins but I don't think I know the name of all of these. We have so many pins to get through, so I'm definitely not going to talk while showing you all of them. We're going to start off with our blind box enamel pins. Thank you. 
And then here's a look at my artist pins that I've gotten from various artists. And let's go ahead and open these up and get them ready to be put on the board. I'm not 100% certain if I'm going to display these. I haven't decided whether I want to keep them on the backing in the bag. So I think for now I'm going to keep these ones like this. So here's a look at all of the pins that I'm going to be putting on the pin board. We do have some of them where I wasn't able to get the backing off of it. I'm definitely going to try and get these opened off camera so I can still display these, but I'm going to have to figure out what's happening with the backing. I have the board set up that I'm going to be hanging on the wall, so I'm going to go ahead and set up my pins and decide how I want them displayed. I won't push them through until I've confirmed I really like how they're looking though, just so we don't fill this up with unneeded holes. <laughs>
100% decided on where everything is going to go, but I think we should start pushing them in and have a look. I really like this section here, so I think I'm going to start with this section and start pushing them in to get a better idea of how everything is looking. Here's a look at the final board. I actually have a lot more room than I thought I did, so I have lots of room for more pins, which I think is pretty awesome. And I like the spacing that I have between. I don't mind the color too much, but I think I still might paint this a different color. But I think I really like this. I'll show it to you when it's hung on the wall as well, so you can see what it actually looks like hung up. I think it's a pretty cute way to display my pins, and I'm so glad I finally have these pins organized and put up in such a neat way. I think this actually looks really awesome, and I definitely think I have a few more pins here and there lying around, so I'll definitely be adding more to this bit by bit. Let me know down below what you think about this pin collection and how you think I did with organizing it. I kind of just did a kind of color ombre change, tried to put things that were similar colors that looked good beside each other. I'm not sure quite if I like this upper part here. I might end up redoing this, but I think for now I like it. I'll probably keep it like this. I'm not sure. And if you collect pins, I would love to know how you display them. I think this is a really cute display and I'm really happy I finally did it. This is going to be really heavy on my wall though, so I'm going to have to make sure it's nice and secure. And if you didn't check out yesterday's video where I actually unboxed 10 Pop Mart pins, be sure to check it out and I'll see you tomorrow for a regular unboxing video.